Welcome back to the mini sustainability workshop. As you can see, our flywheel mechanism is now fully assembled and spinning along happily. Those are the two high-powered neodymium magnets you can see there at the bottom. As I'll demonstrate here, this really is free floating and just hovering in the air using those magnets. The arms you see going horizontally across the top are not supporting the shaft, they just slide freely up and down. As you'll see in some of the shots, we are using regular old ball bearings for the radial bearings. I tried to make magnetic bearings. Uh, as you can see here, I thought I came up with something pretty simple and straightforward that was going to work. Uh, but when I tried to put it all together, this happened. Turns out hot glue is not very strong. However, this does seem to spin with very low friction as long as the shaft is kept properly aligned. Most of the forces will be put down on those two lower magnets. So at this point you might be asking, well, why don't you just use a horizontal shaft and use those magnetic bearings I saw in that other YouTube video? Well, in this system we have a much, much heavier flywheel, and in fact I want to be able to put a lot more weight onto this. You could put about 150 pounds maximum on this system if you wanted to. And Remember, from the first video, one of our goals for this project is to have something that can last for decades and decades and decades, and something that you can repair. So if we have a lot of weight sitting on a horizontal shaft, that's going to slowly deform that shaft, especially while the system is at rest. And so that's something we want to avoid. But if we place the weights on a vertical shaft, then all the forces are axial along the shaft, and you have something that's much stronger and it's not going to wear out as quickly. By the way, if you have any other questions about this, how it works, where it's going, please put those in the comments. I'll try to answer as best as I can. So I'm pretty happy with where this project is for now. There are a couple improvements that are needed. We need to be able to make fine-tuned adjustments to the axis alignment uh, in order to reduce friction and keep the system's efficiency very high. And that way we'll be able to store energy uh, overnight, hopefully, without it spinning down to zero RPM. Other than that, all we need now is to add our DC motor generator and a solar panel. And in the next video, you should see a working system, and we should be able to charge some devices off of this.